Shalom, back again with another quick exhortation. I pray and hope that, Lord willing, it is edifying to you. Hope for the lek akim wa akwaf out there. First and foremost, as always, I'd like to give all praise, glory, and honor to the true, holy, and powerful names of the Heavenly Father and His beloved Son, the Most High Power of Israel, whom the world ignorantly calls God and Jesus Christ. Real names in the Paleo Hebrew is Yahweh Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai. Baha Shem or Chahakwadash. All right, double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone that do rule and teach well with the correct doctrines and exhortations of the heavenly scriptures. Peace and salutations to you, hopeful elect, Akim, that's out there doing his work in all truth, faith, sincerity, and fear of Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai. And as well, you two sincere Akwaf, our sisters that come across these videos, Shalom. All right, real quick, what I want to get into is this article. From NBCNews.com. All right, as the title reads, Uganda enacts harsh LGBT anti-LGBTQ law, including death penalty. All right, out there in Uganda, you see they they not they not playing that, and uh, this is how it should be. Okay, this is perfectly natural. All right, uh, order of things according to the scriptures, man. All right, because the scriptures clearly condemn that uh, mo activity, man. Well, you got to say, say it like that because of the YouTube algorithm, all right? But that, that whole um, H-O-M-O activity, man, you know, that they fully express here in the West, giving them laws and such, you know, and, and rights, all right? But the only right they got, got or should have is to be put to death, man, the right to die, <laughs> you know? And, and, and you know, got to say it bluntly like that because that's what it is. All right, so Uganda enacting this so-called harsh law, all right, is they in the right spirit, man. All right, that's, that's the spirit of the Lord, you know. But anyway, it says same-sex relations were allegedly illegal in Uganda, as in more than 30, 30 other African countries, but the new law goes further, okay. So they really trying to squash it out over there, man, okay. But over here in the West, which you're going to go on and read in the article, is trying to condemn them for this law, you know, and saying, no, it's, it's, it's wrong, you know. They have rights, too, the humans, too. You know, they have a right to be, uh, uh, have that warped mindset, all right. And it, it, well, let's just read. Uh, it says, Uganda President Yuria Museveni, during an interview in Pretoria, South Africa, on March 1st, 2023, is by Reuters, Kampala, Uganda. Uh, Uganda President Yuria Museveni signed one of the world's toughest anti-LGBTQ law, including the death penalty for aggravated uh, HOMO activity during rest, drawing Western condemnation and risking sanctions from aid donors. All right. So they're drawing uh, condemnation from the West. All right. And they threatened to put sanctions upon the country because, um, you know, that's how America gets down, man. If you don't go along with their agenda. All right. Uh, such in this case, you know, it's a w very wicked agenda. All right. You see, they trying to destroy uh, uh, the natural order of things that the Lord set in place because they're in, they're the adversary. They're, the, they're uh, in the vibration of Satan. All right. Satan meaning, uh, you know, the adversary, you see. And Esau Edom, the self-proclaimed white man, particularly, you know, the leaders over here in the West, they're they're all about coming against the Lord, man. All right. They're all uh, part of that whole underground, you know, uh, what they call it, masonry shit and all that. They're all involved with all of that, man. All right. So they try to get there. Excuse me. You know, it's early, but um. So, you know, then they put sanctions on countries, all right, to prevent aid from going in there. But now you have all these different countries doing whatever they want to do because they're seeing that America's power is, is waning, all right? They see how America is weakening, how the dollar is, is being rejected and weakening, right? So these countries, man, they're no longer afraid of America, right? As the scriptures said, they, will all, they, they would be, you know, it says uh, in the scriptures, has thou become weak as, as weak as we, you see? So they're looking at this place like, no, fuck that, man. We're going to do what's in our best interest, man. What we want to do for our 
goddamn country, you know? So, and we're going to see how America uh, responds, man, all right? <laughs> can't, can't attack everybody, all right? Anyway, it says same-sex relations was allegedly illegal. Well, we just read that. <clears throat> it says it stipulates capital punishment for serial offenders against the law and transmission of terminal illness like HIV and AIDS through, through uh, G-A-Y sex, all right? And that's the thing, man. You get these damn terminal illnesses, all right? Irre well, I don't think they irreversible, but, you know, this, this is part of the judgment if the Lord allows to happen to those that participate in these acts, man. All right? It serves them right to, to get some sort of terminal illness, man. All right? For, for, that, for that abomination. You see? And... and, and <laughs> Here in the West, man, you know, you, you got that rampant around here, man. And then um, now they try to promote it to the kids. All right. You got little school books for the, uh, you know, for the preschoolers and, you know, young kids, man. You know, going into their library, reading certain books on, on um, HOMO activity. Very explicit books, mind you. It, it is drawing a lot of condemnation from parents around the country all right whose kids are coming home saying look at this book look how explicit this book is man all right they trying to destroy the next generation you see to where they you know if everybody grow up in that mind frame and they gonna be no another generation man all right and, and that alone is enough to warrant judgment uh 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 such as in sodom ancient sodom and more all right Upon this modern day Sodom, according to the scripture, Revelation 11 and 8, and it's spiritually Sodom in Egypt. All right. So, but anyway, it says it also decrees a 20 year sentence, prison sentence for promoting uh, Mo activity. All right. So, simply promote, promoting it out there in that country can uh, lead to a 20 year prison sentence uh, potentially. Okay. So it says, quote, the Ugandan president has today legalized state-sponsored homophobia and transphobia, <laughs> said Claire Fire, whatever the last name is, a Ugandan rights activist. So you even have activists out there in Uganda, all right, talking about, you know, they sponsoring homophobia and transphobia, meaning that, the, you know, you're scared of those two groups. Uh, you have a phobia uh, no, it ain't about having a phobia. It's about, you know, reacting naturally to that activity, man. Okay. Like, like here, in, like here in the West, man. You, you be somewhere in the food court eating your food, and you next thing you know you see a six foot eight, uh, LeBron James looking motherfucker with a with heels on and and a skirt, with a with a wig, trying to sound like a woman with a goatee. You see. <laughs> And, and, and you ain't supposed to feel some type of way about that. You're supposed to just sit there and, you know, no, nah, man, you, you're going you gonna to feel some type of way, man. But then you're the bad guy if you speak out against it or you move away. What you mean run away for? <laughs> you know, man, this, hey, man, this place is bugged the fuck out, man. Excuse my my Swedish. Um, it says President Joe called to move a tragic violation. Uh, it says, quote, a tragic violation, end quote, it says of human rights and said Washington would evaluate the impl implications of the law on all aspects of the, the U.S. engagement uh, with Uganda. All right. So he's saying it's tragic that they're doing this, man. You know, how is it tragic? All right. It's more so uh, logical. It makes sense. You know, if, you, if you're in your right mind, it makes sense, man. These Americans aren't in their right mind. What does the scripture say? It say, uh, woe to them that call evil good and good evil. They condemn this, this law as if it's evil, man. All right? When it's really good, it's really sound, a sound type of law, man. All right? Makes sense. Um, it says, quote, we are considering additional steps, including the application of sanctions and restrictions of an entry into the United States against anyone involved in serious human rights abuse 
or corruption, he said. Okay, so they call it a human rights abuse and, and corruption. And they're considering putting sanctions on Uganda and, and restricting them for coming into the U.S., which I don't even see why the fuck they would want to do that any damn way. All right. You know, but anyway, so they consider it, you know, a corruption. They don't consider what they're doing over here in the West as corrupt, you know, and, and the wickedness that they allowing to happen here. All right. And the shit spreading like wildfire, like a fucking cancer throughout the society. All right. And they don't expect death to happen. You see? So, man, hey, man, this place going to get judged, man. Anyway, it says... The presidency photo of Museveni showed him signing the law with a golden pen at his desk. The 78-year-old has called uh, HMO sexuality a de deviation from normal and urged lawmakers to resist imperialist pressure. Right, it is a deviation from the normal, man. All right, the abnormal, it's an abomination. All right, and they're saying to resist imperialist pressure. Was that pressure is trying to come from the West? They're always trying to fucking sanction the country to bend to their will, to push that pressure. But now these countries, man, are standing up boldly. All right? Kudos to them and every other country, man, is standing up, man. All right? Against this, the bully, the big bad boogeyman of the West, man. All right? As the scripture said that they would do. But anyway, it says the local organization, Human Rights Awareness and Promotion Forum, and 10 individual countries later filed a complaint against the law in the Constitutional Court of the Petitioners told Reuters, it says Mussolini had sent a, the original bill passed in March back, back in March, asking Parliament to tone down some provisions, but his uh, ultimate approval, but his ultimate approval was not seen as a as in doubt in the conservative country where anti LGBT LGBTQ attitudes have hardened in recent years, in part due to campaigning by Western ev evangelical church groups. You see, so you got so-called evangelical church groups from the West trying to, you know, go around promoting this stuff throughout the earth, man. You know, that's the, that's, <laughs> man, oh man. And, and you wonder why this place got to be destroyed, man. All right. Because if it was left up to them, everybody would be goddamn a mo. You know, it says Uganda received billions of dollars in foreign aid each year and could now face adverse measures from donors and investors. That's happened with similar bill nine years ago. But they don't give a damn about that no more, man. All right. People, people is willing to, to take these chances. All right. And take them sanctions and say, fuck it. All right. Rather than have a society uh, uh, destroyed with the, with this madness, man. All right, now I don't I don't blame them, man. Kudos to them. All right, so let's get a few scriptures. All right. Um, first one you know is in Leviticus. Let me see. Um, let me see. I already looked these precepts up, so let's just backtrack. This is Leviticus uh twenty and thirteen. It says, if a man also lie with mankind. As he lieth with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. All right. Now, this is cut and dry, you know, uh, uh, you know, straight to the point type of, you know, judgment, man. All right. That the, that the scriptures pronounce, man. Thus saith the most high. All right. So, so it's an abomination. It's a filthy, wicked act in the eyes of the Lord, man. All right, and, they support, and, and the correct penalty is death. All right, so Uganda is in the right spirit. On to the next one. Um, let's see. It's the Book of Romans, one and twenty-seven. It says, matter of fact, uh, let's see if I should read up a verse. Yeah, Romans 1 and 26, it says, For this cause, the Most High gave them up to vile affections. All right? That's what the Lord allowed to happen to America, man. He gave them up, you know, gave these the society up to vile affections, man. That's what that LGBTQ is, man. It's, it's a vile, vile affections. 
It says, for even their woman changed the natural use uh, unto that which is against nature. All right. The woman's natural use is, is with a man. Right now you have a bunch of uh tough, tough, <laughs> tough women running around, man. Goddamn uh dykes and shit, man. You know? And they'll act more tougher than they'll act more tougher than you. Try to challenge you, you know, mean mug you and you know. Knowing damn well they don't want that smoke, man. <laughs> but it, it just goes to show you, man, how bugged out this place is, man. You know, and you got a lot of them, you know. I be seeing it all the time in my job, man. Coming, they come in there holding their hands and shit. Got them a little woman. It's crazy. Um, verse 27, it says, And likewise, also the men leaving the natural use of a woman burned in their lust uh, one toward another. Men with men working that which is unseemly. Uh, unseemly, you know, uh, an abomination. All right. That... You know, they going up the rear <laughs> when when only, you know, shit is supposed to come out of there. Literally, <laughs> you know, you ain't supposed to put nothing, shove nothing up in there, man. All right. That's against nature. It's unseemly. It says and receiving and receiving in themselves the recompense of the error, which was meat. OK, and a lot of times that what they receive in themselves is, is the HIV and AIDS, man. OK, so. And it's a recompense. It's it's the recompense goes in a payback, a payback, you know. So that's the righteous uh balance of things when it comes to that act. All right, on to the next scripture. And and the Lord said said uh, about ancient Sodom and Gomorrah. All right, uh, what will happen? Or or what he what he do what he did to that society? But anyway, this is Isaiah. Three and nine, it says the shoe of their countenance doth witness against them. You know, they they uh a lot of these uh modes, man, they be bold as hell. They be proud, they got a proud look. One of the things that the Lord hates is a proud look. Proverbs 16, 18, pride go up before destruction, the Holy Spirit before fall. Okay. And we're in the the the, the month of June, which is Pride Month. You see, they got a whole month <laughs> for themselves, man, that they you know, they're going to go around having these different parades and different gatherings and whatnot. Just boldly declaring that they're uh, offness, man, to the world. It says, um, uh, so like it says, they declare, declare their sin as Sodom. You see? So to declare meaning to just openly express and, you know, back in the day, that was in the shadows, man. All right. It, you still had that going on course but it was, it was hidden people didn't know about it people didn't know that you know certain things that people people was doing man like like uh martin luther lucifer queen you know but anyway um <clears throat> but now man they just they out there it says they hide it not you see it says woe unto their soul woe men in destruction it says woe unto their soul for they have rewarded evil unto themselves man all right. Evil meaning bad times. All right. And this is one of the chief reasons why America is going to be utterly and completely destroyed, man. All right. Just as ancient Sodom and Gomorrah was burnt to a crisp. All right. And you can still see the ancient ruins and remains of the city to this very day. Because I've seen it. They've done excavations. You know, these archaeologists went back and studied and, you know, you can still see the outlines of the city that's preserved. You can still uh, pick out sulfur stones that's embedded within the walls of the city all through, you know, and, and they tested it out. They even burnt the sulfur stones and it still burned just as hot as it did back then, you know. So so showing you that the scriptures is true, man. All right. Anywhere, anywhere the scriptures speak about, you can actually go back and look at the ancient ruins of a, of a place, man. All right. So, you know, they even... uh. You even have Lot's wife preserved there, man, as a pillar of salt. All of these are an example, or should be an example, uh, 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 to the world. You know, matter of fact, let me see. Let me just get that real quick. We can close it out with uh, with this here in Second Peter's the second chapter, going right to the point in verse four. Note verse five. It says, and spare not the old world, but save Noah, the eighth person, 
a preacher of righteousness, bringing in the flood upon the world of the ungodly. Okay. And are we not, you know, us of the hopeful elect is doing his work in truth and sincerity, you know, prophesying week in and week out on the highways and hedges, in season, out of season. Okay. Are, are we not in the same lot as Noah, you know, preaching and warning the people of impending doom and, and judgment, you know? Uh, he, Noah represented the elect in those times, man. All right, and we ho hopefully, Lord willing, are are in that same lot of the of the election to be spared. All right, in these times, man. Okay, and just as he was warning the people, and they was doubting him, ah, oh, that never happened, man. Water coming from the sky? Are you serious? You know, because back then water was sprung up from the earth to water the land. Okay, so you had a lot of naysayers and scoffers out there. You know, but yeah, he just kept on building. He kept on building. It's another scripture that said um, um, he was moved with fear, you know, to the saving of his house, roughly paraphrasing. And it's the same thing with us, man. Scripture say, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. Okay? We we know that the Lord is 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 coming with, you know, he's going to terrorize this society. All right? And ultimately, he's going to finish it off with nukes, you know. To utter destruction. All right. And that's what we try to warn our people about, man. All right. To come out of that activity, come out of that mindset. Because you got a lot of Jake that's in, involved, in, you know. And Jake take it to the next level, man. When they when they get in, involved in uh that activity, man. What's his name? Little, little Nasty X. You know. Walking around in cat suits and thongs, you know, in, in the public eye and taking pictures and shit. Man. <laughs> You got little kids watching this shit, man. They're going to grow up wanting to be like little nasty ex, man. But anyway. <clears throat> um, verse 6. It says, and turning, and turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemn them with an overthrow, making them an example unto those that should afterwards, that afterwards should live ungodly, man. All right. And so it was an example set forth to warn the world okay this is what happens when you do this activity this is the judgment okay but america apparently didn't get the memo because we we living in sodom 2.0 over here man all right you see some of the wildest mo activity that you could possibly see man all right so imagine what's going to happen to this place this is verse seven and delivered just lots Vex with the filthy conversation of the wicked. Okay. Just as Noah was spared, Lot what Lot was spared out of that, you know, out of that hell. All right. And, and we hoping to be received that uh same salvation, man. Okay. This is verse eight. It says, For that righteous man dwelling among them in seeing and hearing, vex his righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful deeds. Okay, and it's the same way with us, man. We vexed. All right, you sitting there with your family and, you know, and and, and a whole group, a group of uh, tea, tea girls walk up, you know, and strutting their stuff. And, you know, and, and I've had that happen, man. You go to the gas station to try to pump gas and a bunch of uh, uh, moles roll up in the car trying to get at you. Ooh, how you doing? Just as an ancient side of making more, they try to get at the angels. Bring those men that you brought in with you, Lord, out here so we can take them. You see? Fucking wickedness, man. Man. But anyway, it says, the Lord, verse 9, the Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptations and to reserve the unjust until the day of judgment to be punished. Okay? And that's what it is, man. It, it, there's simply being reserved for the day of judgment which is vastly approaching, man. All right, and they're going puni to be punished tremendously, man. Okay? Lord going to do a number on this place, man, and I can't wait uh, uh, to see it, Lord willing. All right? So, hey, man, with that being said, I'm going to close it out on that note. There are other scriptures that I could get, but I think the point was made. All right? Those, those out there in Uganda, hey, round of applause, man, for Uganda. All right? Keep up the good work. <laughs> And hopefully, you know, every other country, <clears throat> hopefully every other country outside of the U.S. follows suit, man. All right. Because this is the, the correct vibration to be in. All right.
for, for a healthy society. So with that being said, Lord willing, you edify uh, to the next time. Shalom.